Hi there, good morning. Well, I hope you are well today. I'm really hoping as I ask you that question, are you well? I'm hoping that you are saying to me, yes, I am well, I'm good, I'm full of hope. Um, and I'm hopeful for the day ahead. But you may be finding yourself when I'm asking you that question, you're not saying to me, I am full of hope. But you may be saying to me, I am feeling absolutely hopeless today. I'm in a place where I'm feeling hopeless. It's a place of, of, of feeling just absolutely in a place of despair. Well, I know that that is not a nice place to be. And if we're honest with ourselves, we've all sometime or other in our lives been at a place where we feel a little bit hopeless. Uh, the situation maybe that we're in, we're finding a little bit too much to handle. Well, sometimes if we're honest with ourselves, sometimes it's the way we are in that place. Why? Because of choices that we have maybe made, if we're honest. It's not maybe always nice accepting that, but it is the truth. But on other occasions, many a times, it's um, completely out of our hands. It's nothing that we have done. Um, and it's nothing that we have, um, uh, a com nothing that we've done to get to that place of despair. It's because things have just been thrown at us, and that, and we're feeling in, in in that place of hopelessness and despair. It's in times like this where we feel disheartened, we feel discouraged with life, uh, we feel extremely hopeless. Oftentimes, in these times, we try to work things out uh, in our own strength and in our own timing instead of waiting on Him, on waiting on God. Well, maybe you are at that stage today where you just can't fight anymore. You just can't do this in your own strength anymore. Well, I love Isaiah chapter 64 verse 4, and I want to encourage you with this uh, scripture this morning. It says, since ancient times, no one has heard. No ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. I love that. Who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Do you realize today that you don't need to fight this on your own? You do not need to fight this on your own. You know, maybe you do need to fight this, but you do not need to fight it on your own. You've got God fighting it for you. You've got oh God on your side uh, and he's giving you victory even at this time in this area. You have someone who is acting on your behalf, that scripture said. Not just anyone. It's not just anyone, but it's our strong defender, Jesus Christ. And he is fighting today on your behalf. He is fighting on your behalf. We know in Zechariah chapter 12 verse 8, it says, On that day the Lord will defend the people of Jerusalem. The weakest among them will be as mighty as King David. And the royal descendants will be like God, like the angel of the Lord who goes before them. You know, today at your weakest at your weakest, you may be feeling today at your weakest, you can know that God will defend you. You know that he will make you mighty. You will be made mighty today in him. It's in him. How amazing is that? That is where we get our strength from, in him. We know as well in Romans chapter 8 verse 37, it says, No, despite all these things, despite all that you may be going through, despite the situation or life, whatever life has knocked at you or blown at you, you can know today that despite it all, overwhelming victory is yours through Christ. That is what that scripture says. And it says, uh, who loved us because of the great love that he has for you today. You can know that overwhelming victory is yours through Christ today. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 and 31, another two verses that I just love. It says he gives, this is our God, he gives power to the weak and strength to the, weak, the powerless. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Those who wait on the Lord, they will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. So today you may be feeling weak. You may be feeling powerless, but I want to say to you today that God says that he gives you power. He gives power to the weak and he gives strength to the powerless. Then you gain new strength. You soar high, you run and you walk and you do not grow weary. Why? Because you've waited on God today. 
Well, I pray today, as you go through the day, that you will take the time out to read these scriptures. Read the scriptures um, and get into the word of God. Let God's word strengthen you today. Take time as you uh, start the day to, to make uh, the effort to, to say, I am maybe feeling in this place, but you know what? I'm not going to remain here. I'm going to get into God's word. I'm going to let God's word strengthen me. So, and I pray that as you do this, I know that God will work on your behalf, even in your situation. An overwhelming victory will be yours today. He will give you power for the day. New strength will be yours even in today. And then I want to end off with Psalm 61 verse 2. It says, from the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the towering rock of safety. How wonderful is that? How awesome is that? And that is my prayer for you for today, that you will cry out to God today. He is your help. Your heart will be overwhelmed by the goodness of God today. And he will lead you today to the towering rock of safety. Be blessed today. Be encouraged today and be strengthened in your God today. We'll chat again tomorrow and have a lovely day. God bless. Bye-bye.